This is the Aries Ram Pumps demo rig using a half inch uh, Aries Ram Pump uh, with the uh, feed tank here. Um, so this would be equivalent to a stream um, and then you've got the drive pipe coming down there, around there, into the pump. So that's the water feed into the pump. So you imagine that, that this end of the pipe is placed in the water upstream, which would be higher up than the pump. So the water is flowing downhill into the pump, which provides the power through gravity. So water flows into the pump and then flows all the way through and out of this valve here. Uh, when the flow of the water snaps the valve shut and produces a pressure wave which comes back through the pump and up through this valve here which is a non-return valve allowing water through that way but not through that way. So the water is forced through there and it's also forced back up the drive pipe. The, the, the length of the drive pipe is critical for the pump operation. Water or the water is forced through that valve and then out through the delivery pipe which is where which is taking water to wherever you want it. This is the pressure vessel which produce which when the pump is in is in in when the pump is working the pressure vessel becomes pressurized and produce it and provides an extra boost which smooths the flow of water up the up the delivery pipe uh, for our demo rig the delivery pipe is coming up the side of the rig and up there so it's Roughly speaking, it's about six foot, six and a half feet um, above the above the floor, and the head of water here is approximately um, a foot and a half above the pump. So, in uh, optimally, the pump will pump water. 10 times the, the difference between or 10 times the height from there where it's taking the water from to where it goes into the pump there so if that's 16 inches it should pump 160 inches up this way so what we've got because water flows through the pump there's, all, there's always water going coming out of this valve here. So for the demo rig, it's collected in this tray and we've got a suction pipe here and a small electric motor around the back powered by a battery just to recirculate the water and it comes and it tops up the, um, the supply tank that way. Otherwise we'd be losing water and we'd have to be continuously topping up the, the supply tank but this way we keep a closed system and all the water is recirculated around a system but for a ram pump in operation in a stream uh, you've no concerns about keeping the water that flows through the pump so there is in, in operation a ram pump uses no input of power by solar wind or electric it, all the power input comes through gravity of the water in the drive pipe. As you can see on this one it's got a rather short drive pipe. Um, normally or for a for a standard operation for a one inch pump um, the drive pipe would be 20-30 feet it depends on the installation and uh, but this one works perfectly well with a very short drive um, drive pipe and uh, not, not a very high head of water. Okay well we'll switch it all on or we'll set it going and um, we'll let's see what happens.